I don't know what you feel about the prosperity gospel, the health, wealth, and prosperity gospel, but I'll tell you what I feel about it. Hatred. It is not the gospel. And it's being exported from this country to Africa and Asia, selling a bill of goods to the poorest of the poor. Believe this message. Your pigs won't die. Your wife won't have miscarriages. And you have rings on your fingers and coats on your back. That's coming out of America. The people that ought to be giving our money and our time and our lives, instead selling them a bunch of crap called gospel. And here's the reason it is so horrible. When was the last time that any American, African, Asian ever said, Jesus is all satisfying because you drove a BMW? Never. They'll say, Jesus give you that? Yeah, well, I'll take Jesus. That's idolatry. That's not the gospel. That's elevating gifts above giver. I'll tell you what makes Jesus look beautiful is when you smash your car and your little girl goes flying through the windshield and lands like dead on the street. And you say, through the deepest possible pain, God is enough. God is enough. He is good. He will take care of us. He will satisfy us. He will get us through this. He is our treasure. Whom have I in heaven but you and on earth? There's nothing that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart and my little girl may fail, but you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. That makes God look glorious. As God, not as giver of cars or safety or health. Oh, how I pray that America would be purged of the health, wealth, and prosperity God, and that the Christian church would be marked by suffering for Christ. God is most glorified in you when you are most satisfied in Him in the midst of loss, not prosperity.